Ciao, Valley. In this video, I want to show those who are interested in installing a gear indicator on their bikes, on their Ovales, GP0s, uh, how you can go about doing that without it sucking engine power away. So as you know, the Ovale 160 is a CDI, which stands for Capacitor Discharge Ignition Based uh, Ignition System. So there's no battery in the Ovales. The GP0, GP160, uh, 110, 190, they don't have batteries. I'm not sure about the GP2s, actually, to be honest with you, but... Um, you guys maybe would know better, drop down if you happen to know, but uh, they're all CDI based power, which means that the engine spins a magnet, which uh, feeds in power to this box here. And this box creates uh, a current for the electrical system, so it has different wires. Uh, obviously, you can connect a kill switch to it, which is what I've done here. Uh, you can connect other accessories. I don't know what this one's for, maybe for like a heel tech um, quick shifter or um, anyway. I don't recommend putting too many electronics, even for the quick shifters. You'll notice that they will put a battery at the front here, a very small one. Uh, you actually don't need a very powerful battery at all to be running these electronics. This one hardly uses any electricity. So what I have here is a gear indicator that's a, it's called a universal magnetic gear indicator. So the magnetic gear indicators, they don't talk to any ECU. All that they're doing, basically, very, very simple piece of electronics is that they are uh, connected down to two sensors here. And these sensors, you're going to mount and install them. You'll notice they have notches on them. You're going to mount them and install them like this. Okay. Uh, one for the shift up and one for the shift down, right? And they're just going to pick up a magnet. And the magnet's actually right over here. I put one here. You're going to JB weld a magnet or whatever, tape it down. As you move the shifter up and down, the magnet is going to tell feed into uh, indicator screen up here. All right, very, very simple. And this goes from uh, zero all the way to six. Now, to get the power to go, what I've done is I've connected it just temporarily with uh, to a GoPro battery. So the GoPro batteries actually have sufficient power to power this thing for days. Job, Ellie. So here's the final product. So I have the switch turned on. We'll turn it on now, right? So the gear indicator pops up. And then here we go. So we've got zero means that the uh, gear indicator has not picked up a signal yet. So all you have to do for it to get ready to go is to uh, upshift it once and downshift it, and now we're neutral. So neutral is gonna appear as one on this gear indicator. Unfortunately, there's no N. We can't program it otherwise on um, belly, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Just remember that Remember that every single gear you choose, it's gonna be just uh, one below what's indicated, right? So, so we're at neutral, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, Okay, and now that I'm in fourth gear, this time it worked. Now that I'm in fourth gear, you'll notice I can't push it up more and all the up, up shift thing I do, it's not gonna change the gear indicator. So we're good on the up shift. Now the down shift, all right? So I'm gonna go one and just turn the wheel so that we engage the uh, transmission there. And then that's from uh, third to second gear, second to first gear. All right, now we're in first gear. One more down is neutral. And that's what we got, All right? And if you have this set up, Billy, I can promise you, and these are tricky to set up, but I can promise you this, that it's gonna work for you on the track. And that is my word behind it, hence why I've made this video. Hope that helps you guys. Uh, good luck out there. Have fun on the track, stay safe.